I did it my way. Welcome to Nash Interviews. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Blue. It's a dumb f***ing color. Oh, I did, yeah, I have an actual question for you. Uh, when was the last time you crossed? Nash Interviews was a, uh, it, it was a popular segment. It was just Nash, Clevenger, going around asking questions. We found it pretty funny when we started, but uh, no one else really did. Oh, Will, you want to be on, you want to be on the show? No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, it was interesting. I mean, we'd all just tag along during the segments. Um. These people. These people. Marco, what do you, uh, what did you think about that one thing that... We play along with the questions and stuff, but, we, you know, we rarely got good answers, honestly. I started scripting the questions. That was sort of it. And then whoosh. This shit took off. On Student News, a new hot show that's breaking boundaries. Nash Interviews. It's groundbreaking. It's like groundbreaking. Oh, exactly. yeah. I watch it every day. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Showtime. That's when the problems came in. Okay. If you take that camera off me one more damn time, you're fired. He changed and he wasn't the sweet little boy I thought I knew anymore. I, uh, I lost myself. I lost control. I would look in the mirror and see a completely different person. You know what? I'm sick of your attitude, Marco. I created this show. Who do you think you are, huh? And you, and you. And then we got rid of him. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Shout out. Good morning. And then they gave it to me. Welcome to the Nash interview show. Today, we're going to be trying to maybe give somebody. Welcome back, students. In recent news, Nash Clemenger of the Nash interview show has been fired. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. But Nash, he was fired for also just having a huge, being a huge ass. <laughs> hey, wait, keep your goddamn hands to yourself, ah, what do you dude. Feel? Dirty, dirty animals, animals, you dirty animals. <laughs> Let me through. All right, all right, enough attention. Oh, oh, oh. Did he deserve it? I don't know, but I understand how bad things got. You know, I really felt bad. I mean, I, I, I knew he was going through a rough patch, but I just didn't know what I could do. He was actually homeless for a while. <laughs> Sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to the Nash Interview Show. Today I have a special segment for you guys. We're here in Skid Row after a few years of cleanup, so you can see there's not as many homeless tents as there used to be out here, but still got a couple people, you know? He hurt people, but his biggest victim was himself. Is that Nash? Hey! Hey! I think that might be Nash. Hey, hey. Yeah! Oh! Here I go. After Marco came up to me in the street, I looked at myself and just said, you've got to change. This is not the way you should live life. He struggled, you know, and it's hard to see your son behave this way. It, it was almost like he was his father, but, you know, unlike his father, he was able to change. I remember he called me one night and, um, you know, he, he, he mainly was calling me just to reach out for some help, you know, telling me he was sorry for what he did and he was trying to set himself straight and, um, you know, just reaching out for some help, you know, we, we got to help the man. I heard that he got a job at Wendy's. 
I'm, I'm just happy that he started to uh, switch tracks, you know, start fixing himself up a little. It was, it was a weird time, yeah, but, you know, life isn't easy and I live with a lot of the things I've done every day. I'm just honestly happy that I made it out okay and that I have surrounded myself with people who love me and support me and will stand by me in the apocalypse. I'm just glad he has a leg to stand on now, you know. We're, we're all totally here for him, you know, through all of it.